Hello students of ISC and CSC, welcome to the lecture 2 of uh, automata theory and computability. Uh, if you recollect in the last class, uh, we talked about the heading itself. What is automata? Automata is nothing but a that is an abstract machine uh, which will help in simulating the compute, uh, uh, computation and understand the computability. And we also studied uh, what is the role of uh, the formal languages, why we use formal languages for, uh, to communicate with the computer, why not uh, natural languages, what are the problems with natural languages and all this we have studied, they are all very important. So, now we go on to uh, the next lecture, before we go to the next lecture, I would like to show you uh, the, the book which is uh, changed. So, this is the book which you will have to uh, follow it. So, this is the new book though it is uh, somewhat uh, thing, number of pages or more, but your portion will be very less in this. So, this is what you, you need to think. This is uh, basically as I told you, uh, wherein the, the proof of uh, some of the theorems and all is easy to understand. So, with this uh, thing, we will go to the today's objective. Today's objective is to, uh, uh, to know what is there in chapter 2 that is the it starts like this define the alphabet and strings understand the functions on the strings length concatenation replication and reverse for each one of them we will see the examples and all that what are the relations that are possible on a string then define the language using the strings then techniques for defining the languages and functions we will end up with the functions on languages so this is the what is the agenda today so, this is actually we are coming from bottom up that means, we are going to know bits and pieces and try to uh, reach the language definition. So, the first of all we will see what is a alphabet all of you understand. Okay. So, this is uh, a thing alphabet you know that English alphabet consists of uh, a to small a to z capital A to z so many punctuations and other things. So, here the, the alphabet set will not be very complex, it will be either A or B or C maximum or it will be 0 or 1 if you want to generate the language consisting of binary strings. So, the alphabet can be even be symbols also in general the just a, uh, any symbol will co constitute a alphabet set. So, now using this uh, alphabet set first and the foremost is we are going to derive strings. From the strings we derive languages, this is how we will have to be uh, following that. So, just to follow that the a string is a finite sequence of possibly empty of characters drawn from some alphabet set, epsilon is a empty string, sigma star is the set of all possible strings over an alphabet. So, this reads some explanation. So, I will just uh, say that even, even if we take a single alphabet also we can make a lot of languages. So, from this the strings are alphabet set strings are derived. From the strings we can have go to the languages and when we derive strings there are certain functions can be applied to strings there are certain functions that can be applied to languages and and all this that is the actually what is the syllabus for today now as you said uh, that is uh, uh, epsilon is a empty string sigma star is all possible strings in that includes a, any number of uh, thing alphabets in any combination. So, it will be an infinite set actually sigma star will be an infinite set. So, let us see how the how to do it. So, if the sigma is a comma b there are only two alphabets are there strings derived from that is any combination of a and b. So, for example, no combination of a and b will de derive empty string epsilon then we have uh, we have a that is taken one at a time take 
b then taken two a's at a time a b then b a b b a a a. So, it can be it will be an infinite set the infinite strings uh, can be derived from this. Similarly, if the uh, sigma is 0 1 then all the binary strings can be derived again epsilon will come empty string if you do not select any of the alphabets then epsilon will come into picture. Then similarly taking only 0 taking 1 combination of uh, I mean 2 zeros, 0 1 and all this will be the various types of strings that can be derived. the number of strings that can be derived is infinite. Okay. Now, the coming to the thing even if uh, sigma is only a single character you will see that the, the number of strings are again infinite. So, that is sigma is there taken 1 at a time, 2 at a time, 3 at a time, 4 at a time and this will go on forever. Okay. So, uh, what you understand is the number of strings that can be derived from a alphabet set is infinite. So, now the first uh, to be useful the string concept to be useful we have to understand what are the functions that can we can apply that is one of the important thing is find the length of the string. Okay. Uh, then for that the operator is the two parallel uh, lines okay, as shown here. So, next is concatenation that is to join two or more strings one after the another. Okay. Then replication the string is raised to some power okay. the usefulness that that will be uh, clear later on. Reversal suppose given a string we want to reverse the th uh, that uh, string. Now, let us see the examples for each one of them. So, for example, if epsilon is there as you know in any alphabet set there will be the if you derive uh, strings it will contain epsilon. Epsilon will have a that is length 0 for example, 1 0 1 3 will have 10 length will be 10. So, examples of concatenation is the strings are put one after the another concatenation. So, for this norm this is the symbol double uh, parallel lines, but this is not used much. So, if we write x comma without uh, writing any operator y that means, it is taken as concatenation. For example, x is good y is student then the good students note that there would not be any space in between. Okay, that is how the uh, whole thing will be uh, operation will be done. The next uh, strings are the replication, replication of a string for example, a to the power of 3 then a is concatenated 3 times. So, that will result in 3 a a a. So, good is good raised to the power 3 that means, what good good good. So, it will be like that anything raised to the power of uh, 0 is uh, epsilon. So, this is where I mean uh, with your uh, mathematics and uh, this differ. See you have seen in arithmetic anything uh, see uh, 5 to the power of 0 is what anything raised to the power of uh, say 0. Okay. So, but whereas, here it is a, a alphabet raised to the power of 0 is epsilon. Okay. So, that is uh, how what is the epsilon you will have to write like this epsilon that is epsilon. Now, so if we are looking at this uh, a to the a thing that will result in epsilon it will not be 0 okay. what is the because from your arithmetic thing. So, b cube is b b b. So, that will be b epsilon concatenated with anything will be result in the same thing. So, epsilon will not add anything to the uh, concatenation. Now, the examples of reversal. So, suppose we have a b c uh, raised to r that means, reverse that means, the uh, thing will be c b a c b a okay, it is written like this. So, suppose x is a b and y is c d and uh, you do the uh, thing first you need to do the concatenation operations a b c d. Okay. Then the reverse of that will be a b c d d c b a. Okay. So, that is how if you do x to the power of r x reversal y reversal if you do then each one will be separately uh, reversed it will be b a this will be d c. Okay. So, that is a there is a uh, difference between these two we will have to observe. 
Now, these are the four operations that are possible, they are the functions. Now, there are certain relations on the strings that also we need to understand. So, the first and the foremost important concept is substring operation. Substring is a sub, uh, yeah, for example, A A A is a substring of A A A and also A A A B B C C C. Okay. Substring means it should appear somewhere in the main string, then it becomes a substring. So, now like we have the proper subset and subset. So, similarly a proper substring concept has come. So, what is a sub, uh, sub, uh, proper substring is a string S is a proper substring of a string T if and only if okay, S is a substring of T and S is not equal to T. So, just to give you some examples of uh, that. Now, uh, uh, see for example, good is there. So, if you are trying to find the substring of that, then it will be the first from the left hand side. If you take out nothing, then epsilon. If you take the first character g, then two characters go g o o. That is all. Good will not be. Good will be a substring, but it will not be proper substring. So, that is what is the uh, important thing to understand. So, substring operation is uh, thing. Next, there are two more operations are there. So, we will see what is that. Prefix and suffix operations very important. A string S yes, is a prefix of T if only if the if only if there exists that is uh, come in a different way here there exists E, E reverse there exists X a element of sigma star such that T is equal to S X. So, that means, what is that a prefix is something which appears in the beginning of a string. So, all those things will be thing. For example, this example probably will be make it clear. Uh, suppose, you take a b b, then the epsilon a a b a b b a b b also is included. Okay. Yeah, though a b b will not be a proper substring, but it will be uh, prefix. Prefix will be a b b all these 1, 2, 3, 4 will be prefixes. That means, whatever you derive from the left hand side of a thing uh, any given uh, string that will be a thing. Now, similarly the again the proper uh, prefix will come proper suffix like proper substring the same concept will be there wherein except that it will not be equal to that. See for example, a, a, a b b are the uh, thing proper suffixes in this case a b b except that a b b which is a prefix will not be there in case of proper suffix. That means, it cannot be a prefix cannot be equal to the given string. Now, similarly the concept is suffix then you take it from the right hand side of a string then that becomes a suffix. For example, uh, the same uh, there exists x it should be a b b is there. So, take from the right hand side b. Okay, epsilon also epsilon will be always be there then you take b then you take a b then you take a b b okay a b b okay so that is how uh, the whole uh, thing will be uh, made b b you have to take b b a b b a this is should be b b a okay now similarly proper suffix so proper suffix are the suffixes again it cannot be equal to the string itself. For example, in this epsilon will be there, b will be there when you take it from the right hand side b b will be there, but b b a will not be there b b a will not be there. So, this is the concept of so prefix and suffix. So, prefix will be taken if you recollect it will be taken from the left hand side. So, and there are suffix will be from the right hand side of the given string. So, now with this uh, operations that is four functions and three uh, three functions and four operations we have seen on the uh, string. Now, let us go to the next one languages. What is language? Language is a set of strings or a finite alphabet set. Very important is we have to understand that it is a finite alphabet set. Alphabets cannot be infinite, it has to be finite. So, it can be even 1, but that has to be finite. 
So, that is very important and uh, in uh, automata theory most of the time uh, this uh, alphabet will be always either 2 or 3 it will not be more than that. Okay, because basically here the concentration is you want to understand the principle of formal languages rather than I mean trying to uh, make a very big sentences and all are not required. So, for example, I mean I see the uh, I also want to tell you how uh, this uh, uh, the classes is going to uh, proceed is uh, some of the examples given in the book I will not take it. So, I will take only the I mean I will take new examples. So, that you have something in the book it is there and also my examples are there. So, you have more than one examples more than uh, uh, thing. examples will be available to you. So, I will leave the examples which are given in the book for you to study. Now, for example, the L 1 suppose even if there is a single alphabet A L 1 is a set of all uh, strings having the odd length a a is length is 1 b b b 3 f 5 7 like that. So, that is one language. Now, what prevents you to make one more language a l 2 which is the length of the string will be all will be e 1 epsilon is length is 0 therefore, 0 is e 1. So, therefore, a a 4 a s 6 a s 8 a s like that it goes on. Now, well, there is nothing prevents you to have L 3 which is the length is 1, 5, 9 the difference between these two will be 4. Okay. So, 4 is there 1 plus 4 5 plus 4 9 like that plus 4, four uh, that will be 13. So, it can go on like that. So, what is that uh, thing that L 4 again L 4 is A A cube A to the power of 7 okay. that is 3 3 see the thing the uh, 4 4 I mean 7 9 13 like that. So, all these are formed uh, can form a language. So, that means, what is the important thing which you have to understand is even with a single alphabet you can make the infinite number of languages okay, even with a single alphabet. So, that is what is the thing you will have to uh, get. Uh, now, technique for defining the language is very important for you to uh, because later on you will have to write the deterministic or the finite state machines you have to write for that the languages will be defined and you will have to uh, do the you, you will have to uh, the, uh, languages will have to be see there are two ways of uh, thing one is the enumeration enumeration by enumerating all the things you can do this thing. For example, the enumeration will be like that. This is one of the very simple method of uh, defining this thing. L is uh, such that W is an element of A comma B star that means, you know that A comma B star will have infinite number of strings. Okay. So, W is such that all the strings beginning with A are taken. So, that forms a language. For example, this A a b a a b then a b 3 uh, 4 b's all will be the uh, language that is a de defined by this l. Now, that see the one of the most important thing to write in automata or finite state machine is you have to understand what are the languages not in l that is very important. So, now you know that why these are not in the uh, language the b is not there because it does not begin with a. So, for example, B A is not there because it does not begin with A. So, similarly epsilon, similarly for all these B's, similarly when it begins with B afterwards no matter what is the thing following. So, all the strings should begin with A. So, that is what the definition says. Now, let us take one more example wherein uh, the way of enumeration. Enumeration is that is where w is e 1 the length of the w is e 1. So, this we have already come across wherein the length will be epsilon because length is 0 then a a length is 2 length is 4 length is 6 length is 8. So, all are e 1 they satisfy the condition defined by the language therefore, they are in the language where are these are not in the language what is that a the length is only is not odd length is odd whereas a a a length is again odd 
uh, uh, phi a is again length is odd. So, these cannot be in the language. So, the one of the most important thing when you want to define a language and final state machine is to think of what are all the representative strings though it is very difficult for you to uh, uh, list all the languages all the uh, strings in a language because as, the, as you know language has consists of infinite strings. So, it will be very difficult, but what is the your attempt should be to see that at least first 5 or 10 you should write it and also some of the simple things which are not there in the language with that it will be very easy to write the uh, automata or the finite state machine. Now, the uh, defining see there are there is other way of uh, thing defining it is not only just uh, 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 thing that is you can also enumerate one is enumeration you can give a in the uh, uh, flower bracket you can see what are all the, the strings that are accepted. So, that is possible for a symbol it is also possible for you to define the using a property. What is the property here w is an element of a comma b star all the strings ending in a. So, end this is a that is correct a b a this ends in a this also ends in a all the strings ending in a are in the language. Now, the strings which are not in L again we will have to do that exercise where B, 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 epsilon all five, uh, 5 B's and yet all the A's ending in B are not in the language. Now, the this is uh, this way is much more common that is defining the property the in the examination and all most of the time they will define it such that uh, for example, let L equal to uh, in w is an element of uh, a star that means you know that a star what it means then w is w mod 3 is equal to 1 that means what when you take a representative string and take the remainder of uh, remainder after dividing by 3 then it should be 1 so the language uh, the strings which come into the language are a because length is 1 if you divide by 3 the remainder is 1 if you take a to the power of 4 length is 4 if you divide by 3 the remainder is 1 similarly 7 remainder is 1. So, all these things will be in the language then which are the strings that are not in L for example, epsilon epsilon has got a length 0. So, if you divide by 3 the the mod remainder will be 0 therefore, uh, epsilon cannot be in the language a square is there length is 2 if you divide 2 mod 3 will be 2 only. So, it will not be equal to 1. So, this does not satisfy the property given here therefore, it is these strings are not in language L. So, uh, what is that we have just to recollect see we can uh, uh, that is we can use the enumeration is 1 that is what I mean to say is you can always say that language consists of a, a, a 3 a's 5 a's uh, 7 a's 9 a's and all that that is one way, but most of the time you will not be able to define a complicated languages using this proper uh, thing in enumeration. So, the next best thing will be to uh, that is use some property that is all the strings ending in a the if you divide the length of the string by uh, 3 the remainder will be 1. So, this is how normally the languages are defined. So, the what is that we have seen is now how the languages uh, can be defined using enumeration and defining some property. Now, now uh, the uh, using some property for further examples are like this every prefix of w starts with b that means what every prefix of thing the prefix you know you if you recollect prefix uh, function. So, this has got uh, epsilon a, a, a b a a a b a b b all that. So, if you take the prefix of that no prefix every prefix a, all will not have a prefix b some will have, but the property says every prefix of w starts with the for example, the exceptions will be epsilon is there the prefix of epsilon is epsilon only. So, it will not have a property b. So, this contradicts that is every prefix of w starts with uh, b cannot be satisfied therefore, the language will have empty set language will not have any strings at all. Okay. So, it is very important 
the strings not in L all the strings since nothing is there in the language every other th string will be there all the strings that can be formed with uh, a comma b whole star that is can be there in the string. Now, let us take one more okay, a and b star no prefix of w contains b okay. that is there should not be uh, strings which the prefix of that should contain b. For example, l the it, its prefix is epsilon only. So, it can be there it satisfies the condition a the prefix is a it does not contain b. So, therefore, see all these things if you take the prefix of this will not contain b therefore, all these that is epsilon a a square a cube a to the power of all will be there in the languages. The strings that are not in l which contradict that for example, a uh, string thing if you look at it prefix. So, a b the if you take the prefix of that one of the prefix will be a b itself it contains b therefore, it cannot it violates the the condition given in the language. So, for example, a b b a b b if you take prefix of that a b will be one of the prefix again the prefix contains b therefore, no prefix is uh, violated. So, therefore, all these things will not be there in the language. So, this is the most important uh, thing you should do some exercises given in the end wherein uh, given a property you must list out the uh, strings that are there in the language the strings that are not there in the language though it has not been emphasized very much in the book you must do it strings not in the language. So, that will help you a lot in the writing of the automata. Now, coming to the functions functions on the languages. So, for example, the language as you have seen is a subset of sigma star that means, the it is a set basically. So, therefore, all the set operations that is the set operations what you have studied in your discrete mathematics the union intersection difference complement all will be applicable to language also because languages are sets. So, for example, if you define a even a very simple uh, example sigma is a. So, languages that can be defined are all the even length strings even length strings then all odd length strings a a, a a cube a to the power of 5 a to the power of 7 and a, so on. So, so, now if you take two languages you can always do the operation union intersection difference and complement that can be done. Let us see how uh, it will work uh, we will do the all these operations. So, just I have repeated the L 1 L 2 for your uh, thing. Uh, now, L 1 union L 2 okay, because other than that see L 1 L 2 are actually partitioning the sigma star. So, therefore, if you, you take the union of that all the strings that are possible with A as alphabet will be there therefore, it is equal to sigma star or A star union operation. So, if you these are the only two ways you can divide it. So, that all the strings will be either here or here therefore, union of that you will get it back the original A star. Now, if you take the intersection operation what happens? So, intersection as you know is uh, there should be something common then only the intersection will come, but you, if you look at the languages there is nothing common between these two L 1 and L 2. So, therefore, if you take the intersection of that the resulting will be a null set or phi. So, that is how the intersection L 1 minus L 2 again. So, L 1 and the strings which are there in L 1 the strings which are not there in L 2 that is the operation. So, if you know that there are the strings which are in L 2 are never there in L 1 therefore, there is nothing to uh, delete it. So, it will remain in L 1 will remain L 1 only. So, the difference operation you will get L 1 back. Similarly, L 2 minus L 1 the strings which are there in L 2 and not there in L 1 if you are trying to do the since L 2 and L 1 are disjoint there is nothing common. So, therefore, it will result in L 2 itself. Now, similarly the complement of that. So, if you take the complement of that 
Now, already L 1 minus L 2 you have then L 1. So, the complement of L 1 is L 2 because if you say that okay, this is the proper division, okay, proper partition has happened. So, therefore, if you take the complement of L 1 you will get L 2. If you take the complement of L 1 you will get L 2. So, the you know that the resulting will be L 1 if you take a complement of that that is L 2 will get. Similarly, L 2 minus L 1 the result is L 2 and if you take a complement it will be L 1. So, with the result what happened is you have seen so four important operation on a very simple uh, setup that is union intersection difference and complement operations are possible in uh, on a languages. Now, the, the next thing which we have to understand is the concatenation of languages. So, this uh, that is if uh, normally the this is only for the explanation L is equal to A A A B. Normally, the languages will not have finite uh, strings, finite number of strings will not be there in a language uh, uh, like this example. This is only just to make you clear everything. Normally, the languages will contain infinite strings, okay, infinite set of strings. Now, suppose L 2 is there x x comma y y. So, if you do the concatenation there is no operator between L 1 L 2 is there. So, it will have A A concatenated with first element of first thing first element of L 1 concatenated with first element of L 2 that is A A x x. Then the first element with second element A A y y. Then similarly, you have to take the A B because that is the first one. So, you have to take in the same order only it is very important A B x x okay. then A B y y. The strings you know is a is something like a cross multiplication in what you have done in the previous classes. Now, uh, these are uh, thing normally we should understand the, the, these concatenation and all for infinite strings, but to start with we have taken a string uh, languages with finite number of strings. So, here we need to understand some important results. If L 1 is empty then it is known it can be written as empty set or phi. Now, if uh, L 2 is x x comma y y there are two only two strings are there. Now, if you concatenate L 1 L 2 then the resulting will be phi. It may not be initially go well with uh, your uh, background. So, but you will have to understand that if you concatenate with a null set okay, the strings uh, where there are no strings to concatenate. If you concatenate that with some other uh, language consisting of some finite number of strings then the result will be empty. This is a very important result which you must uh, understand. Okay. In general, so what is the thing is that means to say that in general if you concatenate any language with an empty set language having empty set then it will always result in phi that is empty set. So, this is a very important result. So, you will have to uh, remember. Now, concatenation of uh, languages some important results. Okay, this also is very important. Suppose, instead of L being empty it is consists epsilon. Okay. Now, the L 2 is I think x x y y. Now, if you it is a empty string concatenated with x x will give you x x itself. Epsilon empty string concatenated with y y will give you y y. Therefore, the resulting thing will be L 2 itself. Now, very important thing to understand is the epsilon and phi are two important things which we have to understand. Now, for example, if uh, epsilon is there, now you will get see you know that if L is a single alphabet, then the L will, will be epsilon, then A a square a cube infinity will be there. Now, the question comes if L is epsilon itself empty string then what is the string? String will have the, the thing will be. So, because epsilon if you concatenate any number of times 
you will get epsilon. For example, if you have epsilon concatenated this thing, you will get epsilon. Whereas, it is not so here. A concatenated with A will give you A square. A square concatenated with A, A cube. So, this difference is very much you have to understand that. See, epsilon, if a language contains epsilon, then the, the alphabet set is epsilon, then it will be like this only. So, now similarly, if you say single alphabet set, then it will have infinite strings like this. So, now the uh, concatenation associative, associativeness is uh, uh, very, very important property. What happens? Suppose I say concatenation L1, L2, then L3. So, first I will do concatenation of L1, L2, then L3. Is it same as concatenating L2, L3, then afterwards L1? Yes, it is. It is like addition. Addition, you know, is associative. Whether equal to all these things you have to understand. It is a associative, associative property. So, associative property which is there for arithmetic addition you will have to be, it will, it will not hold for minus sign as you know. Okay. Now, let us go to the concatenation of languages defined using some property. For example, A is a a is uh, eight, uh, the L is a to the power of n, that is n is greater than or equal to 0, very important. So, if you have to look at this language and understand what it consists of. So, L is uh, a to the L 1 is a to the power of uh, n, okay, where n is greater than or equal to 0, such that n is greater than or equal to 0. If you are looking at this, that means you have to take anything to the power of 0, that is epsilon will be there. If you take 1 replication, remember A, if you take n equal to 2, A square, A cube and so on, infinity. Okay. So, similarly, if you take L 2 is equal to B to the power of n. So, L 2 is b to the power of n such that n is greater than or equal to 0. So, as you can see it will have epsilon b taken 1 time, b square taken 2 times, 3 times and so on infinity. So, if these two are the languages, now if you concatenate L 1 and L 2, then the result will be somewhat very difficult to understand. because this is the cross multiplication of two infinite strings. Okay. So, why you have to understand that it will not be equal to if you concatenate L 1 concatenate L 2, it will not be A power n B power n, where n is greater than or equal to 0, it will not be. Okay. Because, the you are you, you need to understand that it is a 1 it has this has infinite strings this also infinite strings if you are looking at uh, that then the correct solution will be it will be a power n b power m they need not match where n and m are greater than or equal to 0 so later on you will see that a star b star will be uh, it will be denoted uh, in the thing so uh, i suppose this is uh, uh, clear okay so, why this is you need to somewhat uh, spend some time and understand why it is not equal to a power n b power n. See just to tell you why it is this thing just to make it this thing. Now, see each one of them will be multiplied with this. For example, if you take this, it will be multiplied with everything. So, now when you multiply with this, this will be just a, a square because this is empty. Then, when you do this, it will be a square b. Then, when you do this, here it will match a square b square. Then, a square b cube. So, you cannot say that a, this will not be, this pattern will not be possible. That is possible, but that will be a subset of that. 
So, it will have a power n b power m then that will be the air n and m are greater than 0 that is what is the result. So, you need to understand that. Then the next operation. So, you have seen concatenation operation. The next operation is the clean star operation. Clean star operation is a very important that is the anything language raised to the power star that is set of all strings that can be formed by concatenating 0 or more strings from L that is the L star like first you have to understand what is uh, the A star. A star if you understand probably L star also you will understand. A star if you are writing taking A 0 times, A 1 time, A 2 times, A 3 times and all that. Suppose the L itself this is L then L star will be all these things operations again taken infinite number of times, but that also will become as you if you spend some time on that it will be same as this it will not be different from this. So, that is a clean star operation. Now, what is a, this is very important result concatenation of languages. So, one notation is there L plus L star you have seen that is all possible thing. Now, L plus what is how do you define L plus? So, that is L into L star. So, L into L star will be equal to L plus. So, I will uh, explain this it is somewhat tricky to understand. So, L plus is nothing but L star minus epsilon if you take it out from that it may not be uh, clear here, but uh, this example should be clear. For example, A star you know it is epsilon A, A square, A cube and so on. Okay. Now, up to infinity. Now, A plus is except that A same as A star, but epsilon will not be there that is a notation. So, similarly A plus will be A star minus thing. same logic you will apply here also then you will understand what is L plus. It will not have L plus will not have epsilon as one of the member. So, now the finally to uh, the assigning meaning to the strings of languages is what is dealt in the uh, thing. This uh, topics that means to say that uh, see as I told you in the first class. So, if you have a formal language each will have only one meaning will be there, okay. but two or more things can have equivalent meaning. For example, that is explained here that is uh, you define x equal to 4 and if you do x plus plus at the end of this the end of this what is the value of x that is the semantics or the meaning. So, x will have 5, but if you do that the if you are coming at the end so, whether it is before and after is not the important thing. What is important is x is initially 4 plus plus x okay, that is incremented. So, it will be x will be 5. Okay. Now, if you have one more sentence like this int x equal to 4 x equal to x plus 1. So, at the here at the end of uh, these two statements the value of x will be 4. So, the what is that we want to understand is the semantics of all these uh, four languages is same. If will, similarly, if you have int x equal to x equal to x minus of minus 1, if you do it then x will be again 5. So, that means all these are equivalent statements. So, this is a very important uh, concept probably it will be discussed later on why the uh, as I told you in the first class here in this formal languages the important thing is every syntax will have only one meaning there will not be more than one meaning that is why it is very easy to write compilers uh, for these formal languages. So, this we will be dealing in the later stage. Now, to summarize what is that we have uh, uh, thing uh, the thing is see this is a bottom up method wherein we started with alphabets alphabets are as I told you in this case either it will be a b c or 0 1 etcetera. From the alphabets you derive strings you make strings out of that. Then there are certain functions defined on the strings like length of a string concatenation replication reverse and all that we have understood and for each one of them there is a some operator 
is there. Okay. Now, uh, the uh, and also some functions that are done are substring prefix and suffix operations also we have seen how to do that. That is uh, later on it will uh, matter more. Then uh, coming to the definition of a language, language can be said as L is a subset of sigma star. This is how it is a very important result you must remember. That means, the whatever the this will have infinite strings out of that some will be form the language. Of course, there is nothing that prevents the whole thing can also be a language. Okay. Sigma star can be a language, but a subset of that also can be a language. So, when we are defining the language, we have come across two uh, techniques. One is explicitly define the what are all the strings in that language, but that is possible for simple languages only. But when it comes to a uh, complex uh, languages, then you have to define certain operations and using that only you can define a S thing. We have seen some examples like the where the length mod 3 equal to 1 that is example of using a, a property. Now, the then when the languages are uh, done, then we want to know what operations can be done on the languages. Okay. So, we have seen the concatenation of two languages where L 1, L 2 if you concatenate what happens, then the L star itself L star. So, if you do it the then that is all possible combinations of all the elements of a string. Suppose, you do that what happens. So, that will result in the language L itself it will not is not going to change okay, uh, because most of the languages are infinite. Now, the uh, today's uh, having seen this, this is we have come from the top down. So, I have given certain uh, uh, homework for you just uh, try to do this that is uh, if the L is A B C, then you will have to write at least 10 terms of L star. Okay. If L is only the 3 alphabets are there, if you know that uh, what are the terms terms, epsilon will be there, A will be there, B will be there, uh, uh, A B will be there, A C will be there, all these combinations you will have to do it. So, that is there. then write the first terms as L plus, L plus as you know it will not contain epsilon. So, similarly, if L 1 uh, is A power n, B power n, where n is greater than L 2 is C power n. Uh, thing, identify the string belonging to L 1 concatenation L 2. Very important if you do this exercise, then you will understand how it is done. See for example, this will give you A B A B are equal, then C can be anything, they can be anything, 3 C's can be there. So, if you try to identify at least some 10, 15 strings, then it will make more uh, meaningful. Uh, now, uh, the the if you have this is fundamental lecture so wherein uh, all these things will be later on used very much whatever the concepts we have uh, done in this uh, chapter that is chapter 2 so if you have any questions you please send them to the uh, ma my mail address and i will uh, give you the suitable solutions for that thank you